at Spade. Hey guys, this is Yuyu. So today I wanted to finally share every single thing I bought in Tokyo this time. Let's get started. So the first item is this super cute Chanel flat bag. There is the logo, but it's like a, a very subtle stitching. And I love how on the inside, there's like one pocket and then another zipper as well. And then in the back, there's also like a little pocket. And I think it goes great with coats and jackets in the winter time. So the next item is another Chanel vintage item. It's this super cute Chanel sports line vintage cap in like a navy blue, but it also has like a reflective material. And I think this is the early 2000s. Yeah, but I also love the shape. And I think it goes really well with my hoops and my short hair. This is another hat that I bought this time that I really loved. The boutique name is Union, so they stock a lot of different hype brands. And then this one is a more niche brand from LA called WYP. I just love how it's so soft and it's actually really good quality. And apparently the yarn is made from recycled materials. Summer chilling on an island kind of vibe. And then the other two hats is actually my boyfriend's, but I'm stealing it. It's from Huff. It's like a very OG skateboard brand from the States. And then this one is also from Huff. I really like it. I think it'll look even better if you have like longer hair. I mean, this one's a little bit more crazy. It's like that. Okay, so moving on from hats, this Chanel necklace I got at the Chanel store. So it's like that. The silver heart choker, bedazzled as well. And then, oh, it also has like a little pearl at the end. It's so cute. Oh, cute. Okay, for shoes, I actually got my wish list boots this time when I was in Tokyo, and it's these super cute Miu Miu cowboy boots. And then I got them in the black color, which is kind of like a bluish faded vintage textured color. So I always wanted these boots, but it was like impossible to get for the longest time. I was in Tokyo shopping in the Miu shop and I actually saw these on display and it was one of the last pairs and it was my size and I got these boots. These go with everything. You can wear leggings with them. You can go like shorts, skirts. This is such a statement piece. I love these. Okay, moving on to clothes. So I also got my dream leather jacket this time in Tokyo and it's it's the Acne Studios leather bomber jacket and it's like also a kind of vintage texture and coloring I love the fit I think it goes with anything the fit is perfect I'm more petite so this the length of it is like right above my butt such a statement piece also for winter I also got two items from APC the first one is this very pretty purple sweater. It's not like solid purple. It has some kind of like light purple and whites mixed in. But I also think this is like a staple piece for my winter wardrobe. The second piece from APC is this. It's APC, like a super simple white long sleeve. I like this design actually, I've never seen it before from APC. Again, the fabric is also very comfy. And then I also got something from Prada, this like a super tight, stretchy black turtleneck with the Prada Triangle logo. I know it's kind of basic, but I actually think it looks really flattering. I was always looking for a nice fitted black turtleneck, but with cotton material turtlenecks, it's never like super fitted. You always get kind of like bundles and like wrinkles, but this one, because it's kind of like a semi nylon material, so it actually fits really well. Okay, next up, we got some underwear from Calvin Klein. Um, this first one is not underwear, it's actually sleepwear. Super comfy, um, and I think Japan actually has a pretty good stock of Calvin Klein items. I know every country is kind of different, but I got this to wear at home. It's like bigger boxers. And then also bought some undies. Um, this first one's like this gray. Yeah, it's like tight boxer brief one in white as well. This is just a high waist triangle underwear. Okay, moving on to makeup. Um, I didn't actually buy a lot of makeup. So the first one is this CPB 
I would call it kind of like a correcting primer. Um, so you put it on after your sunscreen and before your makeup. So what it does is actually helps you brighten your face and correct your uneven skin tone. I like to put this on either as a primer or when I don't want to put on any makeup but also look less tired, I would just use this right after my SPF for the whole day. It actually makes your skin look really good. And then the other CPB item I bought is this cushion. This is amazing. I love how the cushion also like this part, it can go right under your eye. And then it's like a cushion cream. I have combo skin. I think this works really well. It's natural looking and it makes your skin look very glowy in a healthy way and then it actually lasts pretty well throughout the day. And then next is also a foundation and primer, and they're both from RMK. Uh, this is definitely like an impulse buy. I didn't plan to buy this, but I tried it on and I actually really liked it. It's also quite glowy and dewy and also has SPF 23. So next up for beauty products are my must buy restocks. Um, the first one is this Rimmel Nude Lipstick in the shade 17. This is like a really pretty, a little bit peachy nude color and I'm wearing this now. I love this also because there's a mirror oh my God. at the top of the cap. So when you're actually going out and you put this in your bag, you don't need to bring another mirror. You can just do this, um, which is really convenient. The next restock item is the Can Make Press Powder. I've been using this for a while now and it's like my go-to powder. I'm using this now actually. And then this is the one that I'm almost running out of. I did a quick restock. So next up are some medicine and pills. First one is this. It's like stomach medicine. This helps to relieve stomach pain pretty quickly. So this is more for like an emergency. I used this last weekend after partying too hard and it worked really well. And then this one is, I would say it's ibuprofen slash Tylenol, but Japanese it's, um, I don't know if it's called EVE or EVE, but I call it EVE. So I always have period cramps the first day of my period. And I used to use the ones that's like gold or white package. Um, from before and then this time when I saw the pink one, this one is actually targeting just for period cramps for women So I bought this and I tried it out and it worked really well So I'll definitely be restocking these some random toys and merch that I bought So the first one I'm super happy about this. It's from a place called Union Records and I found the original Henri Queen of City Pop um, vinyl track. I also went to the Pokemon Center, like a merch store, because my boyfriend forced me to, and I got some <laughs> merch. So this first one is this tote, and it has all the Pokemon characters on it. Kind of cute. Let me open it. <gasps> it's like that. Got a few furry friends. This one, and also there was a Nintendo store next to the Pokemon, so I got this. And then I got these at a, what is it called? Like those machines where you can grab toys. Sorry, I don't know what that's called. But yeah, I got these after like 20 tries. And then at the airport, I bought a shit ton of Hello Kitty goods because if you go to Japan, it's not okay for you to not buy Hello Kitty. So I got this and I got this. This Hello Kitty with a super cute kimono. And then this smaller one so I can hang it on my bag. Also another kimono little Hello Kitty. And these super cute froggy hair clips. And the last one is this. Let's pull up your hair when you wash your face. And then the last few things are food and snacks. So the first one is this curry up butter chicken curry pack. Um, it's actually from Nigo. It's from human made brand. And then I think all you need to do is like do some microwaving or boiling. So I'll try this maybe next week. Another thing I bought um, was I tried this super bomb Kyoto matcha dessert shop. And then I saw their matcha powder. So I bought a can of their matcha powder to try. And then last but not least is one of my favorite snacks from Japan. It's the Royce potato chip chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of Royce chocolates, but I love their chocolate covered potato chips. And then it tastes best when you put it in the fridge for a day. So I put this in the fridge and I just took it out. 
Mmm. I just can't stop. It's like salty and chocolatey at the same time. So yeah, that's everything for today. And I really hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.